Today we're going to learn how a toy helicopter works with Mikey Ryan and me, Gwen. This is a short lesson made with Doceri software. Toy helicopters. Uh, a lot of people say about helicopters that they don't fly it, they just beat the air into submission. And uh, we're going to go ahead and try to disprove that theory and uh, explain to you how this little toy helicopter works. So what you might notice is that uh, it is a helicopter, and usually helicopters have things like rotors. And this particular uh, helicopter has what we call a coaxial rotor system. And so, wait, a rotor, is that the, the blades? That's correct, yeah. So, uh, so you're going to have uh, one rotor, that's another rotor, it's just the two blades that uh, spin, and they create lift. So there's those two, and then there's also this little guy back here. It's also a rotor, but we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, I mentioned a moment ago that this is a coaxial rotor system. So you have one rotor that spins uh, in one direction. So this one is actually going to... Nope, that was wrong. This one is going to spin in that direction. And this guy is going to spin in that direction. So um, most helicopters are going to have a, a single rotor up top. Let's say, for example, that one, and they wouldn't have this one. So what's going to happen in this type of scenario is that uh, this rotor here is going to spin in this direction, creating lift for the helicopter to actually fly. Um, but because the helicopter is just out in space, uh, basic physics says, well, if you have one rotor going in, in one direction, well, the helicopter is going to want to go in the opposite direction and that's not very good so what they do on regular helicopters is they put a um, a tail rotor on the back usually in in uh, this area but is not this rotor it would be something different and this is going to counteract the torque of the main rotor uh, what we have here is a coaxial system so between that rotor and this rotor, they spin in opposite directions that cancel out the torque of each other. So this allows the helicopter to go up and down and uh, you will notice if you've ever played with one of these, um, you can actually turn the nose of the helicopter left or right. And what you do is you simply vary the speed uh, differential between this one and this one. So for example, if you spin this one faster, then the uh, nose of the helicopter will actually turn left and if you spin this one faster then the nose of the helicopter is going to turn to the right. But you also notice if you ever played with one of these before that you can also go forward and backwards and that's what this little guy is for. So if you uh, spin this one to where uh, it applies a force vertically then it will bring the nose of the helicopter down and then make it go forward and vice versa. That was really interesting. I have one question though. What's, what's this piece up here on the, the top, this thing? Uh, that's called a Hiller stabilization system and uh, helicopters aren't that stable. And so what this does is it basically uses the, uh, the inertia. You have um, these weights at the tips of this stabilization bar and this, this, video, this uh, rather picture doesn't really show it that well but it has mechanical linkages right here that uh, change the pitch of these rotor blades and um, basically uses a, a kind of gyroscopic force. Um, to gyroscopic, is that like spinning? <clears throat> yeah, and because they're spinning in a circle, they're going to kind of want to stay within that circle. So if there's like a little gust of wind or something and it's going to want to move one of these blades in one direction or another, uh, it kind of helps balance that out against the inertia of, of the rotating weights. Great. Thank you, Mikey. That was very informative. You're welcome.